An honorable wolf. We'll keep you to that. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, she is a... She's a feisty one. Alright, what's up everybody? Here we are to react to a brand new anime journey over on the channel. I want to actually make it a habit to start reacting to more seasonal stuff. You know, like stuff that's actually ongoing right now. New seasons that people are excited for. Uh, I'm going to be checking out, you know, the second season, the second half actually of that second season of Mushka Tensei, of course, later this week. There's another show that just started, which is called Spice and Wolf. And so I figured I wanted to just, you know, check it out. Now, I'm going in completely blind, just letting you all know. I know that um, there are plenty of people excited about this one, though. Plus, I know that this is apparently a remake. And so the original show, I looked it up real quick, but it had like two seasons. And I think afterwards it just got canceled or something. That's what I saw people kind of complaining about. <laughs> and uh, therefore being overjoyed with the fact that they decided to still, yeah, end up remaking uh, the show from the start, I'm going to assume, hopefully this time around, making it last a little longer and actually will be able to, you know, reach the ending of the manga. I'm pretty sure there is a manga for it. So uh, that being said, as I just told you, I'm diving in completely blind. So I know absolutely nothing. I'm just going to let myself be surprised. So without further ado, I think we should just dive into the first episode. Of course, guys, if you enjoy my reactions to the show, you'll be able to check out the full length reactions every week over on the lowest tier over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So go and check that out for sure if you want to see me react to the episodes uh, in their entirety. And also I have a couple of, of course, reaction request tiers up there as well. If you would like me to react to your favorite anime, that is something, um, yeah, you can actually let me do. So the reaction request tiers will be on Patreon as well for you to check out. Uh, don't forget, of course, to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you won't be missing any of my future reactions to this show. But for now, I'm going to let myself be surprised. So this is the first episode of Spice and Wolf. Yeah, that doesn't seem too adventurous. Bit the ass of a pompous fool. Are these even humans? A wolf that protected the harvests of the village in a land much farther south than here. That's not the kind of behavior I'm used to from a wolf. お話はそれで終わりいや。麦は人が泣き育って収穫するものとなり、狼が恵んでくれるものだなどと信じているものは。うん、まあ。That's <笑> I don't really know what to make of that story. Obviously, I guess we're going to be following that story and actually seeing what did happen to the wolf. But I didn't expect to hear about such a nice wolf. <laughs> this is a beautiful opening, though. Look at this art style, man. It's so creative. Ah, so it's a female wolf, huh? I guess she is the wolf. Yeah, maybe I'm a bit sexist, but I didn't expect a male wolf to be kind. <laughs> Being female, that makes a little bit more sense to me. She's traveling with, like, another guy next to her? That's what we're constantly seeing, at least. Hmm. He's talking to nobody. Or is the wolf hiding? Yeah, okay. I guess the wolf is hiding under here. Hmm. 
この世界を想像した偉大なる唯一心を崇めぬ者どものことよ。あおっしゃや。この辺りにもまだ残ってるとはな。<笑>人は何か知らんか。<笑>さて。Is he somehow connected to that? Probably not, right? But that's okay. They're trying to weed those guys out or what? The traveling merchant, Craft Lawrence. I love this dude's haircut. Yare. Over yonder. I love that word. The wolf is resting there. That's still like the expression they use. Holo will run from greedy hands. Who will catch the wolf this year? So this legend that was talked about in the opening has already basically happened. Even these people know about it. I thought these were going to be like the origins of it. So Holo is like the legend, I guess, huh? And this dude is just kind of acting it out. <laughs> oh, you did. I thought he was a good wolf, though. <laughs> yeah, we kind of came for you, but that, yo, they're genuinely locking him up. What the hell is this? Wow. Okay, that's just how they do those things over here, huh? Just literally play it out for real. <笑>お神は機嫌が悪いと不作を呼びますが白爵様が教えてくださった農法にはそんなことはありませんからなおお、この地方でこれほどの取れにぎんかを見るとは驚きましたわあまさに白爵様のおかげです今夜は泊まっ
I'd be worried uh, I was gonna be the meat. How does she know? Wish to leave the village? So she was in the village. Oh, that's the holo they were talking about, I guess. Oh yeah, you leave quite a, a mark. Don't worry. Oh. Ah, I mean, maybe it's, it was her that they were talking about in the village, no? The name of the god of the heart of heart is in the... Ah. Yeah, she's the literal personification, I guess, huh? Yoitsu. He probably never even heard. Yeah, exactly. I don't think it's meant to be known as a real place. Uh, well, yeah, thankfully we've got all these pelts here, actually. You can probably dress yourself up with that. You stitch them together. So she can like transform into literal wolf form? <laughs> Refuse. Oh, you heard a howl. Yeah, regular people don't do that. Yeah. Oh, What's making him say that, though? You might bring me some fortune. Ah. I don't know, I think she's uh, impressing him in different ways right now. <laughs> Without paying a price. Blood from the living or a small amount of wheat? <laughs> <laughs> I'd make that choice too. Damn, is she like changing now? What's happening? What the fuck even was that? That's what the weed does to her? Oh, Lorenz-san. Good question. Oh, he's here. I guess they did allow him to stay somewhere else rather than the barn or whatever it was. Count Erendot. <laughs> Don't they all? Tax inflated weed. Yeah, I guess it was, uh, you know, vice versa, kind of helping each other out. I don't know what happened to us since. She got that crazy different form and, and my guy went over here. Uh, uh, <laughs> I live inside the wheat, whatever that means. During the harvest, I'm the last piece. Oh, so that's what he got. A little bit. I would be. <laughs> yeah, what did that look like? He was still afraid when he saw it, I guess. He probably just played it off as like, oh, I saw a ghost. One such a person there was. Oh, 
Exactly. Okay, so so she literally is who they talk about, basically. Yeah. That's the big question right now, right? It's like, okay, what what are you planning on doing then anymore? Are we going to different lands or north? Hey, at least you've got some clothes for once. <laughs> Those are yours. These are female clothes, though. <laughs> it's like a, a skirt. Oh my god. Nah, we've already seen that. Don't worry. I think he'll allow you for the time being. But you do remain an experiment for now. Because this could be trouble. Yeah, it must be some kind of fate, I guess, yeah. Craft Lawrence. Let's hope that's a good thing. An honorable wolf. We'll keep you through that. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, she is a... She's a feisty one. Seems you are embarrassed. Love it. Wow, guys, what an episode, man. I'll, I'll need some time to uh, process this one. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, wow. So that was the first episode of Spice and Wolf. Uh, I am not gonna lie, but definitely a bit of a hard one to follow along with for me, especially the first 10 minutes or so. I felt like things were moving so ridiculously fast. So when they were talking about basically this, um, yeah, well, at first it was like a legend, right? They talked about the legend of like Hollow or Holo, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, the wolf who was helping people out with the harvest, this and that. There was like a mom telling that story to a kid, right? And then of course we cut to the current setting, which I don't know which year exactly we're in, but we, we were seeing basically these, this village um, talk about the God of Harvest and everything. And at, f at first I wasn't sure if like, I actually thought the God of Harvest was a completely different entity from Hollow. And that's probably where I got confused because I suspected that like, oh, the God of Harvest is supposed to bring them good fortune. But um, Hollow is like the wolf that's ruining everything for them. And I kind of thought that like, oh, maybe what the story is going to turn into is that Hollow will actually be appearing here, literally, Hollow the wolf. And she's going to be looked at actually as like, um, yeah, a good, a good wolf who helps them out and stuff, right? But that's not what it was. So, so Hollow, this wolf that we're seeing, is actually the god of harvest. I don't really know how that rhymes with each other because you would figure that like a wolf usually is seen as a threat right the wolf is seen as as a danger to everything um um yeah like well usually you're like livestock right your chickens or something uh wolves are definitely going to be a, be a direct threat to that i'm not sure if wolves like wheat actually but whatever <laughs> uh now we're seeing that like hollow has basically appeared in these lands yeah, in physical form, right? And there's like a different form that she can take on too, I think, right? Which is what we saw a very brief glimpse of these uh, of. But that being said, the people are talking more about the fact that like, oh, we don't really need Hollow anymore over here at the very least, right? So now we are going north, wherever we're going, um, to do what, right? That's kind of the question. Like, I don't know what exactly the long term of the show is going to look like, what the goal will ultimately be, what kind of trouble we're going to be running into. I do like the dynamic very much that's going on though between like Kraft Lawrence and Hollow already because you know Kraft is just kind of like or well, should I call him Loris? I don't know but he's he's you know you can tell there is like there is absolutely a curiosity I think as well and like a a, a level of actually being impressed by her obviously also because of her uh, <laughs> physicality I guess but that being said there is also of course unease and there is like oh being unsure whether this is a danger to him whether she's going to be a threat uh to him and 
yeah, like whether to trust her, of course, right? So how is all of that going to unfold? I think this is going to be a very, from what I would tell so far, I think this is going to be a very character-driven show that's for the most part going to be about that relationship between these two characters and seeing how that develops exactly. And so I'm super excited to see how it's all going to unfold. Yeah, guys, for now, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction to this first episode of Spice and Wolf. If you did, then of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you won't be missing out on my reactions to future episodes. You'll also be able to check out the full length reaction over on the lowest tier on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So go and check it out. And you can check out some of the reaction request tiers if you'd like me to react to your favorite show. Uh, go and check out the Patreon. But for now, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in and I'll look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.